In this video, I'm going to show you how the templates that you design can inherit the properties from the defaults that are set up in the uh, device. So you can see in this example here, I'm on my screen configuration. It's set to be two columns by five rows. And here's the default font size for the buttons and so forth. In this case, we're going to display the rating and quantity keyboard. So we've set all these up and we've saved this as a default. So I'm going to click on Save as Default to make sure that's a setting. I'm then going to back out of this because this one actually comes from the data collection screen. I'm going to go to the main menu and my selection formats here are already been defined and you can see them right here. So you can see here we have one called walk, NVA, clerical, maintenance and pack. And over here you see the template and in the latest version of the Timer Pro template column D here has been set to format. And what you do here, it can tell you, you actually type in the name of the format that you want to use. So you can see this one is called Walk, Pack, Clerical, Maintenance, and NVA. So whatever you put in here is going to be inherited when you pass the template in here. And the properties of the colors will actually show up when this is displayed uh, to the end user. So this is our defaults here. And... Uh, we're going to pass the template down from the Excel sheet into the device and you can see it's called a data format demo right here. So we're just going to go through the normal process of preparing the template here. So once I've got it defined here, I go to the main menu. I say download to device. I'm going to send it down to an Android device. And I'm going to save it over into my PDA studies templates for device. And I'm just going to click on the save here and give it a few seconds and it will put it into the SQL format that's going to be used inside the device. Okay, now it says that the file has been created and then what we're going to do is basically just drag it down. So I'm going to go here to my documents, PDA time studies, templates for device. Here you can see my data uh, format demo, DB3. I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to place it down inside the device. So my device is connected here. I bring it up, I put it into the Timer Pro data. You can see it's not here and I'm just going to paste it right in there. So now it's here. I now bring up the device again here and I'm going to select the app and the Timer Pro Professionals here and then I select my template and I'm going to select my data format demo. So I select it here, click on the use and that action of selecting a template for the first time is going to apply the default selection formats and the previously configured default screen layouts. And we can see that if we come in here and do create a new study. And I'm going to give it a name, I'll just call it demo. And click on the OK. And you can see here it's inherited the default colors we saw for the different properties. And it's actually matched that up with the tags that you see over here. So you can see the walk has been tagged with the blue with the uh, yellow writing. The pack has been tagged with the uh, uh, the light blue with the dark blue uh, printing and so forth all the way down here. You can see the non-value added. If we click on the delay here, there you can see the non-value added and here's the maintenance selection being highlighted as well. Uh, in terms of the layout, uh, you can see the, uh, the delay, the, the screen display that you're seeing here has two columns and five rows. If we go to the menu, menu option being this option down here, menu, and we select the info option. We can go to the screen configuration, this item right here, and here you see the 2, 5, 18, 16 and so forth. These are the default configurations that were in the default file inside the uh, device and it's been inherited when the template was loaded to the device. So this is, it shows you how you can use the defaults uh, within the device and apply it to any template that you're bringing into it. And if, so if you use the standard format naming here, you can easily configure all of your studies to have the same look and feel as the end user uses them.